Hey guys, it's JD from Eastwood. We just released a brand new line of shop presses, so here's all you need to know and how to pick one in three minutes. So there's three options here. You have the space saving bench top 10 ton shop press, the standing 12 ton, and the standing 20 ton press. All three are great for pressing, stamping, or bending, and all of the bearing work that you need to do. They have a lot in common, so let's start with the design. They're all ram style presses rather than bottle jack style presses. The huge advantage with that is that the ram slides left and right, allowing you to press off center from the frame if you have to. There's also no spring bar or springs to get in your way, which does tend to happen with that bottle jack style press. Also with these, you get a longer throw. The ram travels further than it does with a bottle jack style press, which is always handy. The bed is also adjustable up and down. You see you get a ton of room to work with on the 12 and 20 ton presses. The 10 ton is designed to fit a form factor for the smaller garage, but you also have some adjustability with the bed there as well. Moving the bed up and down is as simple as removing the R-clips and the pins and moving the bed to where you need it set. These are made from a heavy duty, high grade steel in an H-frame construction, and they're all finished in a nice high quality black powder coating. Looks good, makes them easier to clean if they do get dirty, and keeps them corrosion free as well. All of the Eastwood shop presses meet 2014 ASME PASE standards, which means they're tested to 150% of their respective maximum loads, and at that extra pressure, we saw no deflection or weld failure. Also, all the internals and sealed surfaces are highly polished. That makes it easier on the seals, so you know these presses will last a very, very long time functionally, and Eastwood backs each of these with a one-year warranty. These all feature a very nice four-inch wide pressure gauge at the top with scales for US and metric tons, and the gauge is liquid dampened too. Makes it super easy to get an accurate reading. Operation, just as simple. You get a nice long lever to pull down on, and all you have to do is pump these up to apply pressure and spin the little release knob to let it go once you're finished. One thing that's really nice about the 12 ton and 20 ton presses is that you can use the foot pedal. That way you have both of your hands free to align your piece perfectly. Then you could switch over to the lever, stand off to the side when you really get some weight going down, and it's a little bit safer to do it that way. Good design. Of course, these also work with the press accessories that we offer. The dimple die set is a great way to shed weight and add rigidity to any metal fab project. And I think it looks pretty cool too. Give some World War II aircraft bomber style. The press brake attachment is another option that'll work with the 12 ton press. And that's a great way to put some 90 degree bends into thick metal without buying a whole finger brake. So really making a decision with these three is as simple as what's your budget, what's going to fit in your garage, how much pressing power do you need, and how much room do you need in your press. Press the button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're giving away a MiG-180 welder at 500,000 subscribers. Also, make sure you check out our channel as well. We post tons of great how-to content over there you're definitely gonna wanna see. We'll have all three presses linked below. And as always, thanks for watching. I'm JD, keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.